Hi, this is Julian for Pro Tools Expert, and I've got a copy of Nimbus from Exponential Audio. Nimbus is based, it's kind of a development of, evolution of maybe, uh, Phoenix Verb, which I wasn't a user of, but I did download a copy of before I had a look at this, and I can see kind of the, the development, how one led to the other. The way I understand the user interface is it has four sections. It has this section at the top, which is to do with search and preset management. It's got this section here, which has global controls, wet, dry mix, pre-delay, reverb time. It has this section here, which is to do with filters and levels. And then you've got this section over here, which displays one of four things, either attack parameters, tail, early reflections, or a new section called warp, which is unique to Nimbus and we'll have a look at in a bit. So we should have a listen to it. I thought I'd demonstrate a feature that I really like in this plugin, which is the way you can handle presets. Exponential Audio uses keywords and presets. I'd call that categories and individual presets. So here, for example, we have halls and chambers and things like that. And over here, we have all of the presets for that particular keyword or category. You can browse just that way. But something I really like is by using the arrow keys on your keyboard, if you go up or down, you can change between keywords, categories to my mind, and when you found the category you're after, let's say small plates, you can then, using the right and left arrows, change between all of the presets in that category or keyword. Let's run some audio. Here's some plates on some drums. And we'll try another category. Let's go to maybe small halls. Something else I really like about this plugin is, if you notice here, I changed the reverb time and we've now got this orange bit here. That shows me that this has been changed from the initial preset that was called up. And if I want to compare back to the original, there it is, just like that. So yeah, really easy to get around UI. However, there are some things that Nimbus does that Phoenix Verb didn't. And uh, I think well, to have a look at one of those straight away, we've got this tail suppress and tail recovery, which is, uh, it's a little bit like, um, it reminds me of dynamic delay. I've got a TC hardware reverb that I used to really like the dynamic delay setting on. And what it does is it, it reduces the level of the delay when the input signal is high. And then when the input signal stops, the level of the delays would come up. Uh, and it was a way of kind of using more delay than you might otherwise do because it didn't get in the way and cluster too much. And it's the same kind of thing. We've got a gain reduction meter here. We've got tail suppression, which if you like is the amount of compression and tail recovery, which would be the release time on the compressor that is compressing that. We can also choose where to key from. Input seems appropriate. So let's have a quick listen to that. If I change this reverb send to uh, to pre-fade and turn down the dry signal. Let's have a listen to the tail on its own and see what goes on. I think if we were to slow that down a little, it might help. So. I'll just uh, jump in here and slow it down. And you can definitely hear the effect that that's having, kind of keeping that reverb out of the way a little. So we should take a look at Warp, as it's the biggest new feature in Nimbus. What it is, is it's some compression, some overdrive, and some bit crushing effects, which can be brought into the already existing settings. And uh, by toggling on the Warp on-off button, we can bring them in and out. There seems to be something set up for all of the presets that I've tried. And uh, I think we'll just, rather than going through everything in detail, just listen to it on uh, a couple of different patches. And I'm going to toggle the warp in and out, and also I'm going to toggle the 
dry drums in and out so we can hear 100% wet reverb as well. So starting with no warp, You get the idea. And I think you can hear the results of the warp section can be subtle and tonal or they can be quite extreme. So what do I think of it? It's excellent. I have to say it's it's going to be my go-to reverb from now on. Warp is an interesting addition. Uh, it gives a chance to kind of introduce some character and some uh, what I might call munge into uh, some otherwise extremely clean reverbs. What I really like is the UI and the way it's set out. It offers an opportunity to really get into reverbs and customize them something that previously using other plugins i haven't really done quite as much of in in the past been very happy to stay with presets in this it's really encouraged me to experiment in a way that i haven't before particularly with the early reflection section and uh, really kind of uh, shaping those early reflections and uh, and exploring what they can do i love it and uh, I recommend that you have a go and uh, download a demo. And if you like it, then buy it because this is a great, great plugin. I've been Julian and I'll see you next time.